Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on setting up DHCP inside a Cisco router. First thing we need to do is drag on an 1841 router and enter the router and select CLI. In this tutorial, just showing you how to set up DHCP, we won't actually see it working on a PC. We'll see that in later tutorials. OK, so let's begin. Continue with configuration dialog? No. Now we just need to move up a couple of levels, so enable configure terminal and this is the level we need to be in to type in DHCP commands. So first command IP DHCP pool and I'm going to call this one A and press enter. Remember that A is in uppercase in mine here you can do it in lowercase, it's not a problem, but upper and lowercase will both be treated as separate pools. So you could have an uppercase A and a lowercase A, both containing different sets of IP addresses, and it would work fine. A little bit confusing though. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put in is our default router. You can just type in DE and press tab, and it will fill in the rest. And we need to put an IP address, so for the default router it's going to be 192.168.1. Dot one, which is our default gateway. And then we're going to press enter. Now we need to set up the network. So for this command it's just network and the network address. So in this instance 192.168.1.0 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So a default class C. You can subnet these and create separate pools for each subnet if you wanted to, not a problem. And I'm going to press enter. There are a few other commands we can put into here like DNS server, but we won't use it for this example. So now we've got this section added in, we just type in exit. And now we can exclude some addresses. In your DHCP pool, there's certain addresses you don't want to use, one being the default router. Um, so all we do is IP DHCP excluded address. And then type in the addresses you want to be excluded. So I'm going to use 192.168.1.1, as that's my default gateway. I don't want that to be used. And I'm also going to exclude 1.2 as that will be my printer. And I want to set that statically rather than dynamically. So I just want to exclude that address so it's not given out. OK, that's it for setting up DHCP. What we can do now is just exit down a level, save our running config, copy, run, start, and just do a quick show run. And as you can see, our excluded addresses are there and our IP DHCP pool is there. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Like I said, there will be more tutorials on how to use this in a small network coming up later on. Thank you very much.